Well, actually pretty settled in with that role now. I mean, it's been a few games. You've been the, the starter. I mean, you, you feel pretty comfortable out there? Uh, I definitely do. I think coaches have been doing a good job, you know, helping me out with the uh, play calls and stuff and settling in. So, Where do you feel like you've improved the most or, or gotten the most comfortable? Is there a certain area you feel like you've really made strides over the past month or so? Uh, definitely my first step and, you know, fitting my gaps and definitely in pass coverage as well. How have the guys responded to you? They definitely embraced me. You know, they helped me along the way and uh, helped me with the checks and stuff. Is Quentin in your, Quentin in your ear much? Yes. Uh, do you want to work with you during the week? Yeah, he makes sure I'm watching. He makes sure I'm. Uh, he makes sure I'm watching film and stuff. Clemson as a true freshman quarterback, Narduzzi was just telling us he thinks he could be the number one pick in the NFL draft someday. I mean, what have you seen from him on tape so far? Oh man, he can sling the rock. He's a great quarterback. You know, they're number two team in the nation for a reason. So. When you guys looked at the film from the Miami game, was there a sense that you did a lot of good things except for those couple big plays that, that really kind of made the, the the score and the stats maybe different than what they could have been? I mean, you know, making good plays, it sounds good, but at the end of the day you want to win and it just wasn't enough. Other than Miami, there were a couple other games earlier this season where you guys lost by a big margin, but both times you guys bounced back and beat two pretty good teams. I mean, is that a strength of this team? I mean, how do you guys manage to sort of – Pick yourself up and not let those, you know, lopsided losses build on themselves. I mean, just having a short-term memory and, you know, on to the next one. You know, when it's over with, it's over with. <coughs> What's this opportunity mean for this team? I mean, it means a lot for this team, for the guys that came before us, for this program. You know, it's the first one. So, what does it mean for you, the younger guys, moving forward, though, knowing that, like the fifth-year seniors, they're they're on their way out. <coughs> but for you guys, this is kind of this building block, of more of a step. I think it means for you know the young guys. It shows that we can get here. You know, it definitely shows that we can continue to get here. You know, it's just how much we work. When, when you were being recruited, did the coaches and our dudes bring up the fact that hey, someday you can play in this this game at Bank of America Stadium? Yeah. Definitely, that was definitely. Is that one of the reasons you came here? Yes. A lot of the older guys on the team have uh, beaten. We're here when we beat Clemson. What kind of motivation does that bring you to know that your teammates have been to that height? I mean, it's there's a lot of motivation. It's you know, Tells us that they're you know a beatable team, and it's possible you know. You know they, they say like seeing is believing. How how hard was it for you guys to visualize getting to the ACC championship game and then realizing it? I mean, it wasn't hard visualizing. It's just it may come out, come off as cocky, but it's just we're a very confident group of guys, and you know we whatever we set our mind to, we believe we can achieve. So. Is that the mindset you're taking to this game? Yes, it's a number two team in the nation. Is that is that tough to do? To, the big task ahead of you and get it done. Yeah. Are you guys looking at this almost like a road game too? I mean, Charlotte's not too far from Clemson. There's probably going to be a, a lot of orange there in the crowd. So do you guys prepare like, like it is just going on the road somewhere? I mean, you know, like you said, they're definitely closer to home, but uh, whoever's on the sideline with us, that's, you know, that's who we take and that's how we see it. Clemson, one of those teams that past few years after your season's wrapped up, you put in bowl game, you sort of find yourself watching them in the playoff just kind of as a college football fan and, and seeing what they do? Uh, definitely have watched you know, them on TV growing up uh, in high school and stuff and just. Final. Have you heard from any uh, you know, former yeah. players who, who were part of that Clemson win that graduated? Have any of them sort of been talking to you guys at all this week? Uh, no, not yet. I haven't heard from them. <laughs>